Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to draw a Thunderbird from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I just watched this movie and absolutely loved it so I'm jumping into Adobe Photoshop and doing a digital painting of the Thunderbird. So trying to start out with no spoilers, if you haven't seen the film I recommend go see it because it's amazing. But um, this is one of the creatures that Newt Scamander has in his briefcase, trying not to give away too much. Um, and it also is the house of one of the houses in Ilvermory, which is um, a US um, magical school. So I'm in Ilvermory, so this seemed like the right thing to do um, as a drawing. So I jumped onto Google and found a image and now I have done a brief outline that doesn't really show exactly what it is but gives me an idea of what I'm drawing. And now we're going to select our palette. So now we have our palette. It's a matter of um, finding your highlights and colouring in the image. Um, I pretty much have my finger on the Alt option on, um, key on Photoshop because it's your eyedropper shortcut. Um, it may be different on if you've changed it but pretty much I drop everything and so I'm using the colours that I've got in the palette and what I've got on the image. So I'm just using a normal brush. Um, I'm using a airbrush, which I usually use. Um, I have it on a few settings, as, like transfer and build up, which helps in the actual build up and transfer, like using the colours properly. I also set the opacity down from 100 to usually around 50, 60, 70, depending on what I'm doing. Um, this way, especially with this, um, the Thunderbird with the feathers, it kind of gives a feathery look without much work. Um, so yeah, let's colour in the image. So the last thing I can suggest is to change your brush from a normal brush to a brush called the Mix Brush Tool. Um, this is great because it can select all the colours that you're using and pretty much work like you would on paint and mix those colours. Um, I use this a lot. I haven't didn't find it till late early early last this year, but. It has changed the way I paint so much. It just it decreases the amount you have to option alt and blend everything manually. So I can recommend using that tool. Of course you don't have to, but it's there and so why not use it? 